We have a very strong team in Team Europe at the Collins Cup. You need to play your part and prove that you deserve to be on that team. This is the first ever Collins Cup. All the greatest athletes are here. Team Europe. Team Internationals. Team US. For the first time in history, the road to the Collins Cup starts here. That pleasure from the pain that you put in, it can be a bit sadistic. We're wired differently as athletes to want to feel that pain. I need to push myself. I'm hurting, but I can hurt a bit more than this. Finding where your limit is. I don't feel like I've found it yet. I don't feel like I'm anywhere near finding it yet. One goal to the next. Next high pressure environment to the next. You need to be very strong within your own head. It very much comes down to the mind probably more than it does physically. Good work. Keep pushing up, 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 up. So Lucy's on a pretty intense brick session today. Uh, she's got three rounds of bike, run, bike, run, bike, run, um, with varying intensities on the bike um, and varying distances and intensities on the runs. Good chance to kind of tune everything up and uh, get into the world of pain that she really loves and enjoys being in. Okay, yeah, so I've got, I'm gonna mount the bike and then I've got five minutes easy pedaling and then I'll go straight into the hard effort again. I don't often race in the UK, so as a swimmer, I did a lot of racing in the UK, but in triathlon, I've pretty much travelled the whole world, not raced a lot in my home country. So whenever I get the opportunity to race on home soil, it does feel that bit more special. She's only really tuned in for the last couple of days to these sorts of sessions, and she just she picks everything up so quickly. Um, it's uh, a set of tools that she always has sort of kind of on standby, but just really sharpening them up and making them ready to go is it's great to watch how she progresses through these sessions. And if you ever put a challenge in front of her, she just snaps it up like there's no tomorrow. So yeah, it's impressive to see that, yeah, there's never even a moment's hesitation really. From a very young age, I have been competitive. I was definitely born with that desire to want to push myself, want to be competitive, want to win. Oh, Lucy was really competitive growing up. She drove her sister mad. Every ball game we had out, she had to win. And then as she got into swimming, she wanted to win everything. She, she just was so competitive. I remember being probably about seven or eight years old, watching the Olympic Games and thinking, I want to be there, I want to do that. I want to be the Olympic champion. I want to be the best athlete in the world. My past career was in swimming. It's a scary world to go in. You swim five o'clock in the morning. Maybe you go to school and study or you do your job. Back again in the evening. Another two hours, head down, facing the water. You're just in that world, day in, day out, doing it. I narrowly missed out on the 2012 Olympics and tried to go for another four years. Pushed myself harder than I ever had. Dedicated myself. And then I went and had one of my best ever performances. And I just felt nothing. And I knew in that moment, I'm done with this. I remember the evening that Lucy came in uh, from swimming and, and said, I've got something to tell you. I, I just want to quit swimming. I, I, it just, I felt really sad but because it had been such a big part of our lives and obviously a big part of her life. 
Lucy's gran was like her biggest fan and, and I, all I was thinking, oh, I'm so dreading telling my mum this, that she's going to quit because she'll be so disappointed, so upset. My nan was my biggest fan. So when I was swimming, didn't matter if I had a terrible race, didn't matter if I won. She just thought I was the best. So she would tell all her friends, anyone that I was the best. There was no one that was better than me. And every time I was in the newspaper, she'd cut it out and she'd put it in a little scrapbook. She just followed every single thing that I did, wanted to come to every race. It's a strange story because the, the night I said, I'm done with swimming and I had a real tantrum and quit the sport and was done. And that really was the moment I stopped. She actually passed away that evening. So it was very strange. Um, she just had a heart attack. That was it. She was super young, um, shock for everyone. <laughs> I think I'm going to get a bit emotional. I don't always talk about it, but I know how much it does mean. I think because her gran was a number one fan, I think may maybe in some ways it, it it fired Lucy, thinking, right, I'm gonna I'm gonna do something. I think maybe as I've grown up, I've carried more of her personality. So. When I was young, I was very reserved. I didn't speak out, I was very quiet. And I think a combination of probably being shot down so many times, being told, you're not gonna do this. It's not possible what you're doing. Who are you to think you can do that? I remember as a kid doing like a school running race, there was a parent of the girl I was running with. Um, I think she was coming up behind me and the parent said something like, you can catch her, she's not a runner. I've had enough of being told you won't achieve something, you won't do something. You get to the point in life where you're like, I'm just gonna speak out, I'm just gonna tell you I am gonna do it. And I feel like I'm doing it for my younger self. I haven't given up on that dream. And that's what I'm chasing. Just dig in, just dig in with everything you've got. Lucy Charles Barkley has brought so much to the sport of triathlon and she's a phenomenal asset to, to Team Europe. And as the current standings stand, she is in contention to be part of Team Europe. I can almost tell before the race that I might have already broken an athlete before we even got on the start line. Like, I can see that, I can sense it. I'm a very hard athlete for someone to break mentally. I don't think you could. OK, ladies, there's 30 seconds to go. It definitely makes me a strong athlete and hopefully a solid athlete to have on a team at the Collins Cup because I'm willing to fight to the death. You definitely have dark points in racing. Why am I doing this? What am I working towards? I spend a lot of my time in training thinking about how I'm going to feel at points in a race reflecting on points in training where I was suffering, where I didn't think I could do it, and I managed to do it. Good job, Lucy! Good job, Lucy. This is the moment where it has to pay off because I'm in the race. The one that I've been working towards, this is the goal. Blank out everything else. Cramp, the pain, everything. And almost go into this out of body, euphoric state. As endurance athletes, we are very adept at enduring. And I think that that's a really, really important part of what we do. We physically endure and, and, and we mentally endure. From what I know of Lucy and, and how militantly she, she prepares and how methodical 
she is, how disciplined, how, how driven, and how she's created this amazing, amazing supportive team around her. I can't think of a better person that I'd rather have on our side fighting for the Collins Cup. I'm so happy that Lucy, fingers crossed, will be representing Team Europe. If Lucy's grandma was alive now, she would be so proud. The stakes are higher, it means more. You're not just backing yourself and your country, you're backing a number of countries to represent Europe. We've got a really strong team of women. We have Daniela Ray. We have Annie Howe. We have myself. Lucy Charles we have other super strong women fighting for those final spots on the team. And that's just the women's side. The men's side is absolutely out of this world. These are the greatest athletes from around the globe. We've got some of the best athletes we've ever had in this sport in the history of it. For the first time in history. In Europe, we're going to win hands down. A battle of nations, a battle of regions, a battle for glory. We're going to be unstoppable. The inaugural Collins Cup. You do not want to miss this.